for Abitibi Bay James. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Preventing themselves from understanding a problem in order to find real solutions, that's what the Conservatives do best, particularly on the issue of Aboriginal women who are missing and murdered. Nothing in their policies allows to understand why these women have been disappearing and are being murdered. On the contrary, the list of victims is getting longer. And it's for that reason that the UN Special Rapporteur recommended the holding of a public inquiry. Can the Minister for Public Safety tell us what really the, are the causes of these disappearances and murders? Mr. Speaker, I note that the report very much acknowledges that while many challenges do remain, undoubtedly, uh, the government has taken positive steps to improve the overall well-being and prosperity of Aboriginal people in Canada, with, with particular reference, Mr. Speaker, to the steps that this government has taken to support police action on these important files. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, we've created the National Centre for Missing Persons and Unidentified Remains, created a national person's website, improved law enforcement databases, uh, made enhancements to the Victims Fund, adopted a development of Aboriginal community-based awareness initiatives and safety plans. The time for talk is over, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Churchill. Mr. Speaker, for 24 hours, a ceremony has been taking place on Parliament Hill honouring the families of missing and murdered Indigenous women. Today, UN Rapporteur James Anaya issued a new report. He said the government should, quote, undertake a nationwide inquiry into the issue of missing and murdered Aboriginal women and girls. Mr. Anaya joins a growing list of experts at home, abroad, provinces and territories, Indigenous organizations, and the victims' families. They all agree an inquiry is necessary. Why is this government failing to call a national inquiry into missing and murdered Indigenous women? Well, Mr. Speaker, not everyone agrees because, uh, in fact, uh, I've looked uh, at some of the recent reporting on this. And an advocate, Audrey Huntley, who uh, is the co-founder of No More Silence, an organization that raises awareness about missing and murdered Indigenous women, she's been advocating on this issue, in fact, since the 1990s. She very much believes that what's needed is, again, more support for police to investigate these matters, more direct action and intervention, Mr. Speaker, more programming, Mr. Speaker, more efforts to actually be on the ground ensuring that the law enforcement measures that are being taken are getting desired results. And that is exactly what this government is doing. The Honourable Member for Churchill. Mr. Speaker, what this government should be doing is calling an inquiry into missing and murdered Aboriginal women. cast light on the failure of this government. In fact, it reports that Indigenous women and girls remain vulnerable to abuse. The world is watching, and it is long past overdue. When will the Conservatives stop denying families and communities the truth and justice they deserve? Over the last number of years, there have been some 40 different reports and inquiries and measures taken to identify issues, but the reality is more work needs to be done directly to get to the problem. And, Mr. Speaker, let's look at the actual report that says Canada has taken determined action to address ongoing aspects of the history of misdealing and harm inflicted on Aboriginal peoples in the country, a necessary step towards helping to remedy their current disadvantage. The report goes on, Mr. Speaker, to talk about how Canada has in place numerous laws, policies and programs. That's what we're continuing to do. That's real action. Thank 